Alright, so if you read the title of the video, you know what it's going to be about. I have recently purchased a new set of spotlights for my four-wheel drive. Um, at the moment, I'm running the King's ones. I think they are a 7-inch spotlight. I'm not too sure. Um, I bought them a couple of years ago, and they have done the job perfectly. Steady ones have that little... Uh, the covers you can put on them, um, the smiley cover, which is honestly, let's be honest, is the reason why anyone buys steady spotlights, right? Uh, the old spotlights that I was running on the Ute before I upgraded to the steady ones. Um, as you can see, they're just the King's spotlights. Yes, they're already off the Ute in this video. But I think they're a 7 inch. Now, I wish I got some footage of like a before and after, before I took these off the U. In my opinion, these gave a really, I mean, these worked like, like all King's gear, you know, um, it works for the price that you pay. Uh, it gave a really, we'll say a very direct beam. It gave a very direct beam forward and not too much off to the side, really. And when you, sh when these hit any kind of signs or anything, um, you know, it would, it would, you would go blind. Like the signs would blind you. So, I think these were, I think when I bought them they were around a hundred dollars or just over a hundred dollars which is why I bought them. Um, but yeah, honestly, if you're just going for spotlights, there's nothing wrong with these if you're not even using um, using your spotlights that much. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just thought it was time to upgrade because um, I want a cooler look, maybe a, a better look in the front of you. Alright. So I guess this is what it comes with, um, whatever this is, oh, I guess a user manual, I need that, and a bit of foam covering and boom, this is the package it comes in. So I've gone ahead and already taken off one of the little uh, plastic coverings and the covers, that's what I guess they come with. And there's one more I thought I would share with you. So here we go. Whoa. Bet you weren't expecting a little bit of uh, ASMR in this video. So what we've got here are two spotties, Type-X boards. In the middle, Looks like we have the wiring harness that Steady give you. Um, I won't be using the wiring harness as I've already got a harness of uh, wired up mode spotlights currently in the car. All I'm going to do is it looks like each spotlight comes with a plug and they give you the option of, you know, just kind of wiring it. I guess yourself to your old harness, which is what I'm going to do. Um, what else do we have here? We have, and uh, looks like in here, you just have all your nuts, bolts, lock nuts, washers. I guess you could have a need to install this. All right, uh, what is this? Uh, they give you um, some zip ties. If you don't have any zip ties, they supply you with a couple, which is nice to get for the wiring harness. And what is this? Uh, the mounting base plate. And the last bit in the kit is the mounting bracket, which looks very, very nice compared to the King's one anyway. Well, anything looks good compared to the King's ones. So yeah. Um, I think total weight for these as well. I was actually quite surprised. They were pretty, they were heavier than I expected. I think they're like, this whole box weighs around nine kilos, so yeah. All right, and I'll show you the Smiley covers. 
All right, and just for reference, this is the packet, the box, the Somali covers come in. Another little foam piece there, and here you go. The infamous Steady Smiley covers. I guess the whole reason anyone actually buys Steady Spotlights. So I'm just playing around with the covers I got. I did end up buying two smiley ones to replace the, the stencil steady ones that it comes with. And I wasn't too sure if I wanted to run one steady one and one smiley. And here we have a little bit more ASMR. Double smiley, definitely the way to go. So I decided to do a bit of a tester here at night time. Um, look, this isn't the best road to test these on since I do have lights running up and down the road, but I did want to drive a long time and I really couldn't find anywhere that had no lights, I was just really pitch black, so this will have to do. What I did find with these spotlights compared to the King's ones is that, as you can see in the video, they kind of give more of a spread out to the left and the right, where the King's one were just kind of purely just pointed forward. And at the time of making this video, I was running a large light bar on top of the roof, but I found that since using the SETI spotlights, I really haven't needed to use that light bar as often. All right, so thanks for watching the video. I hope um, it was somewhat informative and you could take something away from it if you were looking at purchasing the SETI Type-X Sport spotlights for your own 
car or four wheel drive. I'm not gonna talk too much about its performance just yet. I will probably do a six month kind of review video slash update on how these spotlights perform and how I've liked them, if there's any pros and cons or anything about them that I've noticed. But yeah, um, thanks for watching the video.